U.S. stocks cutting their losses right behind me here at the New York Stock Exchange this Wednesday afternoon, moving higher. This has the market managed to get past one of the biggest uncertainties heading towards the year end. The cause for the rally, the U.S. Federal Reserve signaling a more aggressive unwinding of its monthly bond buying as expected by the market while forecasting multiple rate hikes on the way next year. The Fed announced on Wednesday that it would wind down its asset purchases, a process known as tapering, at a faster pace amid a continued rise in inflation. The Fed will be buying roughly $60 billion per month of bonds buying in January, down from December's rate of 90, and, and said that it will likely continue that trajectory in the months ahead. The move comes as the central bank is grappling with its highest inflation level in nearly four decades, the Fed widely expected to accelerate its tapering this month. Meanwhile, in the Forex market, it's more of the same. The euro dollar is where we begin. That sees consolidation. The British pound U.S. dollar pair, that's under pressure, but also in focus. The pair is falling below the resistance at 132.60 and below its 20 and 50 period moving averages. Short positions below 132.60 are favored with targets at 132 and 131.85 in extension. The U.S. dollar Japanese yen pair, that sees the upside prevail, while the Bitcoin dollar intraday is moving below its lower Bollinger Band, the pivot point, 48,850. Gold is under pressure. Gold remains on the downside below the horizontal resistance at 1778, challenging its moving averages. Short positions below that figure are favored with targets at 1765 and 1759 in extension. This while silver, that's trading under pressure. Don't forget to follow Trading Central on Twitter and other social media networks for all of your Forex market updates. And for Trading Central Web TV on this, a Wednesday afternoon right here at the New York Stock Exchange, I'm James Sweeney.